Hi, welcome everyone to today's video. In this video, I'm going to show you another uh, quantile wise statistic for the people who are following quantile regressions and are fan of quantile on quantile regression. So while you are doing quantile and quantile regression, you might need to think about that are there quantile and quantile associations. So for that question, the answer will be there given in this video. So we'll start with loading the data. And this data includes two, day, two stock market indices. I intentionally took the data which is long enough so that if I separate data into smaller units um, in quantiles, it will still run. Then I will declare that it is a time series data. Then I will make quantiles of both variables for which I am going to do the quantile on quantile correlations. So I am using capture because one of the variable was already made. So capture command helps to avoid the error. If the thing is already there, it will not run. If it is not there, it will run. And I will create a matrix that that will be useful uh, later on if you want to convert the output into um, into a MATLAB type output. But this command is not uh, use, uh, used in this setup. So I will completely delete it. Now I'll start the temporary folder, name it holding and say that it will create contact contact correlation between J and I variable. Then it will run first loop 19 times and each time it will multiply it by 5. So 5, 10, 15, 20. So 5th percentile to 10th percentile up till 95 percentile. Then an estate loop, same for J variable. So first percentile to 19 percentile. Then what will happen? It will it will create correlations if uh, the first and second percentile data is lower. Uh, so first and second data is lower than the percentile values, and then calculate the the, the store the correlation matrix into in M, and then pick up the first value, which is the the two the first column and second row value. That will be the correlation value because it's a one by one matrix, two by two matrix and then display the value so that we can have a look if there is any error it will be shown in the loop then store the values in a loop and close the loop and open the uh, holding so when i run all of them when i run all of them by highlighting it you you need to make sure that you highlight all of it otherwise uh, it will uh, give some error because they all are connected to each other so control d you will notice that for each percentile values, I am labeling it and there is a quantile value and this data is 360, 381 observations and there are too many. So since the correlation is very quick function, so its data is done very quickly. Now you will see in the data file, there is a long column of the correlation values. Now I will split it in terms, label it in terms of the quantile values of both variables. For that, I will generate a variable which is which is dividing the columns into 19 and multiply it with 5 and call it uh, similarly for x and y and this way i will have uh, two columns when i run it you will have a look that there are two columns uh, this is the x variable percentile values and y variable percentile values and then correlations it is same as this one and when i go into into command i will get two way counter plot between the correlations with percentile values x and y and then scheme strategy journal and then titles when you run it it will show you quantile on non content correlations those so it is positive correlation when the the y axis variable is small but when y axis variable increases it goes towards positive it is it is going towards uh, zero and the very light color is a negative correlation so it's very smiley output that you might might see it here so this way you can show that the correlations are varying across quantile on quantile so which means there might be a relation changing quantile on quantile so this way it will add another uh, contribution in your study so the codes are available in the link provided in the description below and hope you like this video do let me know how do you like it and i appreciate your comments in the video so that uh, the new reader can understand what what good you have achieved so that they can be motivated in using innovative ways to explain your data thank you